Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about Newton's Law of Viscosity. But before I move on to that particular topic, I would like to ask you several questions. Try an experiment, think about you are traveling or you are running in, in open atmosphere in air, air on a road at let us say 40 kilometers per hour and you want to run with the same speed in a pool of water let us say in a swimming pool for example. Now, can you imagine the difference of efforts that you need to apply when you run in water in comparison when you run in, in, in case of atmospheric air or on the road? What do you feel? In which of the two cases you will need to put more efforts uh, on, on running at the same speed? Obviously, you will say that sir and in case of water, when I am when I'm running in the, in the pool of water, I need more and more efforts, right? Now, question is why is that? Why do you need to have more efforts in case of you know water when you are surrounded by the water molecules and why it is that in comparison to this when you are running in the air medium when you are surrounded by the air molecules you need less efforts the answer to this question is provided by a property of fluid called viscosity and the property has been clearly explained by newtons that's why the law that explains the property is called newtons law of viscosity and today in this lecture we are going to talk about newtons law of viscosity in great detail and we will also see the derivation and conceptual aspects of the same so stay with us so, before I move on to that, let me perform an experiment. I have two different jars that you can see and I have two different fluids filled in, the, in those jars, right? And what I will do is I have two empty, empty beakers and I have a stopwatch. What I will do is I will try to uh, tilt both this jar at the same angle for the same period of time and we will see that how much quantity of fluid is filled in both of these beakers. Let us do an experiment. So, I am tilting the jars at the same angle for the same period of time and then I take them off. 